So the, the next question I think is kind of like a tie into that is um, some people might say, well, I think it's, you know, it seems more legitimate if I can have a business name rather than doing business as Sean Tom Bagahan. I want to do it as Butler Branding. Do I have to then start a company to do that? And I don't, there's um, the aspect of a DBA, right? Mm -hmm. So just maybe talk briefly about what is a DBA. Anytime you do business in a name other than your own, you have to tell the government about it because it, it's not fair to hide your business activities and not be able to have somebody file a lawsuit against you. So the, the concept of a DBA is doing business as, or um, in, in other words, I'm Gary Winter, I'm doing business as you know, Billy Bob's Toy Store, or I'm Sean, I'm doing business as Butler Branding. Um, and so that really is just an extension of yourself. It's not a separate entity. It's just you doing business as another name. So a lot of people get confused about that. Don't, don't buy into the hoopla. Fictitious business name or DBA, it's all the same thing and it's just you. It's, 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 if, if you're a sole prop and you have a DBA, there's no separate entity, okay? Um, by the way, <laughs> business entities, LLCs and corporations can also have DBAs. So your business name, your LLC name or your corporation name is kind of irrelevant because we can make it whatever we want and then we can do business as whatever. And sometimes we have multiple business names. We have five or six of them or whatever that we do business as. Um, so that's just side note. But there's, there's a great middle space in there, I think, when you're starting to get busy and you're growing um, and you want to have a brand and it's important to start building a brand, right? That's what you guys are all about. Um, and having that, that DBA and recording it um, and, and getting it on file. Uh, you can also pull a separate tax ID number from your social, from the IRS. Again, doesn't mean you're a separate legal entity if you're a sole prop, but it allows you to open up a separate bank account. So is this kind of like you know a hybrid middle, middle space between, oh, it's just me and I'm, I'm just running all my stuff through my, my own personal account. Now I'm actually separating my finances. I would encourage people take that first step, do a DBA, set up, get a separate tax ID, set up a separate business account because this is gonna start getting you into that entrepreneur mindset. If you think you might, or you know you're, you really wanna to go to that level, metrics and KPIs are where you will live. I mean, KPIs, key performance indicators for the people that don't know. And you can't tell what's happening with your business if you don't monitor the data, if you don't monitor the numbers. You won't know the numbers if they're all commingled with your own stuff. So if you're having to sort out like, oh, I spent this much on groceries or whatever, and, and my business metrics are all mixed in there because we run everything through one account, that's not a business, that's just you. A business is when you start to really separate that stuff out and you set up a separate account, fictitious business name, separate tax ID number, it's still all gonna hit your own personal tax return at the end of the year, but it's worthwhile to take that first step before you formally incorporate.